the final thing we want to talk about in logic is a nice segue into the next chapter, which is proofs in math. So before we go to proofs in math, we will talk about how to write proofs in logic. The way you write proofs in logic is essentially you write a sequence of propositions. Let's say three, one below the other. And then from this, you get a conclusion. These are called the hypothesis. And here's my conclusion. And the way you read the whole thing is as follows. If P1, P2, P3 are true, then Q is true. So really proofs and logic are an implication if you look at what you have here. It's saying if the whatever are the hypothesis, all of them are true, then the conclusion is true. So it's like a meta implication. Uh, here your P1, P2, P3 are themselves propositions. That's it. Uh, so let's look at some examples. The simplest proof is, I guess P and Q gives us P. If P and Q are, and let me write this in words. If P and Q is true, then Q, then P is true. And this is a true statement. If you have an and that is true, then each of the components is false. So this is a valid logical argument, a valid logical proof. A proof in logic is also called an argument, but really because your mathematicians stick to proof. Let's try this one. If P or Q, oops. If P or Q is true, then Q is true. This is unfortunately not true. So this is not a valid argument or not a valid proof. And how do you test it? Uh, the best way, or at least the most rigorous way to test a logical proof is by using truth tables. So I'll build a truth table for P or Q and Q simultaneously. So this will look like P, Q, P or Q. I'll just go ahead and do it. It's a standard process by now. Now, once I've built a truth table, look at all the, all the places where my hypotheses are true. So my hypothesis here is P or Q. And where are the, all the places where my hypothesis is true? It's first three. Then I look at the conclusion and what I need is that in all those places, Q is true. So this is fine, this is fine, but in the middle, I have a problem. So this situation is invalidating my argument. And so the argument is invalid or the proof is incorrect. Let's do one more example. And this is the most common example in mathematics, at least, if not in logic. P, P implies Q, it's Q. If P is true and P implies Q is true, then Q is true. This is a, uh, let's check this using truth tables. So I have P, um, I have my component Q. P implies Q. Now I start by looking at the places where both P and P implies Q are true. So let's look at the places. P is true in the first row and P implies Q is also true here. And that's it. So I only care about the first row. And in this row, then I look for the conclusion. The conclusion here is Q. And if I look at Q, Q is true. And because the conclusion ended up being true in this row, I have that this is a valid argument. 